here. Um, but if you want to learn more, we, we'd be happy to help you with that. Um, so I, th I think a good starting point is to compare torque in an internal combustion engine, which some of us might be more familiar with, with torque in an electric machine. So if we look at our graphs on the right, I have what we call a torque speed curve for both an engine and a uh, electric motor, where we have speed of the machine on the x-axis. So on the top one, that's our, the speed of our internal combustion engine. And then on the y-axis, we have torque, and that's in newton meters. Um, and when, what the curves are is how much torque the machine can produce for a given speed. So in the engine, at 1,000 RPM, we can produce about 180 newton meters of torque. At 3,500 RPM, we can produce about 235 newton meters of torque for this example. And then at our max speed, which is somewhere around 6,500 RPM, we can produce about 120 newton meters of torque. And what we see from this curve is one, that we can't produce any torque at zero speed in the internal combustion engine, and two, that torque happens at a very specific point. And then also paralleled with this is power happens at our maximum power happens at a different very specific point. Um, and this is really why we require a transmission with an internal combustion engine, because we want to get this max torque point at a variety of speeds so that the, the vehicle can operate um, across the full you know, 0 to 60, 0 to 100 range. Um, the fact that there's no torque at zero speed also is the reason that vehicles need a clutch. You have to spin the engine up to a certain speed to get a torque capability so that you can start the vehicle. Um, so these are some complexities that are necessary for an internal combustion engine. Now we parallel that with the electric machine where we have the same graph. We have speed on the x-axis and torque on the y-axis and our uh, capability curve. And at zero speed, the electric machine can produce maximum torque. And it can produce that maximum torque for a range of speeds. So from zero speed up to what we call a corner speed, um, you're going to be able to get maximum torque. And this makes electric machines really appealing for things like buses, trains, uh, earth moving equipment, where you need really high torque from a, from a stall state. Um, and then once we hit what we call our corner speed, we have to start sacrificing torque to get increased speed. Um, but it actually works out where this is a constant power range. So from that corner speed to the maximum speed of the machine, we have um, what we call our constant power ratio. And this, this is pretty cool because we have maximum power for an extended speed range. Um, so this allows us to eliminate a transmission and, and a lot of times clutches from a pure electric vehicle, from a pure electric machine. Um, and these electric machines can spin at very high speeds, up to about 20 k RPM for, for the high power applications. Um, and they may still require a gearbox. And I, I mentioned the gearbox because that's going to be a big part of torque ripple and why we care.